We all have gifts. We all sure. have talents. And I have noticed over the years, I've been doing it 25 years. Yeah. So I've noticed over the years that it comes easier for some sure. than others. But here's what I will tell you. There's one common thing above the, uh, on the whole thing. And that is ownership leads to creating wealth. Whether you're owning real estate, whether you're owning businesses, whether you're owning instruments that allow you to grow that yeah. and protect that wealth, ownership is what leads to wealth. And if we can teach people how to think like owners, mm. then the process will fall into place and, and, and they'll move closer to those goals. So it's not necessarily being a business owner. It's having a thought and a mindset. Uh, and I, I kind of hate the word mindset but it's because it's really buzzword right now. But having a mindset of, I'm going to own whatever it is I'm doing. Yeah, 100%. So it is, and you say mindset, and I know people yeah. talk a lot about it, but honestly, where does it begin? Sure. It's, yeah. How do you think? And, and I, you know, so many people hear this, but there is a big difference between an abundant mindset and a scarcity mindset. Very much so. and, and I challenge people on a daily basis not to think fearfully, be smart, have a strategy, have a plan, have the right partnerships, but think abundantly. And when you think abundantly, then it leads to ownership. It does. I totally agree. So let's go back. So we know what you do now. Uh, yep. Let's go back to childhood. Let's, let's just take it way back. Okay, so tell me about growing up, where you grew up, yeah. the home that you grew up in, your folks. Yeah. So give, me, give me some background there about who you are, who Justin Kraft really is. Yeah, man. Um, so started out, I was born in Lafette, Alabama, okay. uh, a thriving metropolis in East Alabama, exactly. about 2,000 people. Not many people at all. Yep. Uh, when I was five years old, uh, my dad had an opportunity to uh, take over managing a trucking operation in the oil and gas business that was based in East Texas. So when I was five years old, we uprooted, we moved to East Texas. I did not know that. Yeah. See, we are... Four minutes into this thing, and there's a, something I didn't know about Justin. I had to save a couple of surprises. You saved for something. Okay. So, so at five, moved to East Texas. Yep. So your dad was a business owner. Was he a business owner? More, no. I mean, so he worked for this company? He was an operational guy. Okay. Yeah. So he worked for a trucking company yeah. uh, in the operational division. So we were there uh, when I was 14. Uh, parents went through a divorce, and I moved back to Alabama, and that's how I got to Alexander City, Lake Martin. So, yep. so nine years in East Texas. Yeah, nine years. Still have some great friends that I went through junior high with. Growing up, what was the what was the the home like growing up? Your dad did he work a lot? Was he what your mom do? Yeah. What tell me what tell me about that? Yeah, have a uh, I got a great mom. Mm -hmm. She's my hero, you Thomas. Uh, she was a, both a mom and a dad to me. Mm -hmm. uh, my dad was gone a lot, sure, and then ended up leading to a single parent home, and uh, which is part of the reason I got into the financial industry, but. You know, she was she was a driving force. She was a lady of strong faith, yeah. and uh, she taught me a lot of lessons that I'll never forget. One of the biggest ones that that I am thankful for today is you never quit. Mm. Never quit. Yeah. Finish what you start. Never quit. When you get to the end of it, you can reevaluate. Exactly. But never give up. Never quit. And and I saw her live that each and every day uh, in her faith. Uh, in her journey through life, she got dealt a lot of curveballs, yeah. and as the youngest son watching that, uh, it had a big impact on me. Did she work outside the home? Was she? Did she work in the home? Yeah, she never did uh, mm -hmm. until once the divorce was yeah. final. She ended up, and she ended up working two, sometimes three jobs. Wow, Thomas, when I was in uh, high school, uh, to make ends meet, we uh, we had a we had a good middle class childhood, yeah, sure. and then. After that, things got pretty hard uh, and uh, taught me a lot of lessons again, and, I, and I'm thankful for those days. So you've talked about faith a couple of times here in the first five, four or five minutes. Was yeah. church a big part of growing up? Was that something that you guys did every week? I mean, like for us, my mom was, you know, played yep. organ, played the organ in the Baptist church nine months before I was born, and she's 75, and she still plays it today. Yeah. So I was in church Monday, Sunday morning, Sunday night, Wednesday night. Yeah. Like, that's all I remember. What about you? What about you? Yeah, man. I, I, if I'm honest with you, it was off and on. Sure. So as a young kid, uh, obviously we were in church on Sundays, yeah. uh, and and it was a great experience. Mm -hmm. I don't remember much of that, to yeah. be honest with you. It was more just what you did. Yeah. Uh, but I will tell you, uh, had a pretty unique experience with with my Savior when I was about eight years old, and okay. I remember. Uh, being in the church and all of a sudden having a desire to talk and tell the people of the congregation who Jesus was to me. Wow. 
and went to our pastor and uh, thankfully he he said I think this is something we need to do so they gave me a lot of notes and I can't really remember it yeah. all that I heard is every note that I was given is not what I talked about that day nice. I was able to get up in front of a church at eight years old and mm -hmm. tell them about the love of Jesus and I think about that today because Thomas as an adult if I'm honest, going through college, and God was always a part of my life. Yeah. My faith was important. It was important in the business decisions that right. I made when I got out of college. But the relationship with him changed for me in 2017. Mm. And I walked through a couple of difficult uh, things that happened at one time in yeah. life, and it brought me closer to him. And that's when the relationship really started. That's when the morning routine kicked in. Mm. That's when the church really began to matter to me and it wasn't just wow. checking a box on sunday it really began to matter and i'm so thankful for that man man oh man that's awesome